Hey guys, welcome back. Xiaomi started rolling out MIUI 10 stable update for the Poco F1 users. The announcement has been made on Twitter by the Poco GM. Few people already got the OTA update, but many including me didn't get it. I think this is a staged rollout, so every user won't be getting the update right now. You can wait for the OTA update notification, or you can also manually update your phone using the incremental OTA zip. So this OTA zip file is for updating to MIUI 10 version 10.0.4.0 from 9.6.25.0 which is the latest version of MIUI 9. If you are running any version other than MIUI 9 9.6.25.0, then this OTA zip won't work and you have to flash the full MIUI 10 ROM linked in the video description. Once you have downloaded this update, place it in the internal storage of your phone, then go to settings, about phone, system update, hit the three dot menu on the top side, choose update package, select the file explorer you wanna use and pick the ODA file which is transferred and click ok. As you can see the decrypting part is pretty fast and this is OTA update so there won't be any data loss because of the manual ROM flashing and also you will continue to get the future updates via OTA. About the installation time, it took me about 10 minutes for the installation and reboot part, so be patient with it. We are back to the OS, first let me go to settings, about phone. As you can see the device name is POCO F1, it's MIUI 10 version 10.0.4.0 with October 1 security patch. Now coming to the changes, first we have a redesigned notification and quick toggle menu. Although nothing changed much compared to the POCO F1 MIUI 9 themed version, now we have more circular quick toggles with a different icon set, date and day info on the top left. Below the quick toggles you have data usage stats and the new brightness slider. Next we have new vertical reasons menu with open tab stacked in two columns. Just like MIUI 9, there's an option for split screen mode at the top left. You can close the tab by swiping left or right on it and when you long press on any tab you can go to settings page of that app, lock it and also enable split screen mode. Next we have the new volume slider and by default you can adjust the volume of the media and additionally you can also adjust the volume categorically like for music, notifications and alarms, enable or disable silent or DND modes and also setting up countdown timers for them. Finally, the new security app. Although the functions are very much same compared to the previous version, the UI and feel is a lot different and also we got the new system sounds with MIUI 10. Regarding the other stuff, the launcher is the same, you can download and update it via Play Store, you can display battery percentage in the status bar, DRM level is still L3 so no HD playback via Netflix or Prime. Now the phone officially supports Asphalt 9 as you can see you can download it from the Play Store and also PUBG is fully compatible. It's been a while since they have fixed the notch issue with PUBG, the notch no longer interferes with the game menu or control options but still the gameplay screen extends all the way through the notch. Regarding the gameplay it is fine but the touch sensitivity issue is still there making the gaming experience on this phone not so pleasant especially with PUBG. Next they have changed the power menu with this new MIUI 10 version. According to the company, many people assume that the gradient effect with the MIUI 9 power menu is screen bleeding and the answer to the question if the MIUI 10 version will fix the screen bleeding, no it won't fix it and if you are one of those unlucky ones you have to go to the service center to get your phone fixed. And about benchmarks, NT2 version 7 score is 2,79,314, Geekbench 4 single core score is 1875 and multi core score is 6100. So till now I did not face any issue with the update, you can go ahead and install it and do let me know how you feel about the MIUI 10 in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video.